So you're creating a Google business profile, but Google is asking you to verify it. Google has a few different options they may present you to verify a profile. And for this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a video verification. If Google's asking for this, you likely don't have a choice and it's mandatory. So unfortunately, we're gonna to have to do that. And I'll show you here in this video exactly how to do that and what they're looking for. So these videos are manually reviewed by Google employees. And the point is to simulate an in-person visit to your business. So with that said, let me show you how you're gonna access your Google business profile where you can go to submit this video. So we're assuming that you're already an owner listed on this Google profile and you have access to it. If not, you can just request access to us. We'll send you an email and all you have to do is click on that email and click accept and then you'll be an owner of the profile and you can verify it from there. So how do you access this profile? We're going to do that starting at the Google homepage here on my mobile device. We're going to click the top right icons here, the nine dots, and this will show us the Google applications available to us. And we want to go to the business profile manager, which is this middle top blue kind of hut application. It's called the business profile manager. We'll click that and that shows us all the business profiles that we manage. You likely only have one or just a couple here. We have a lot, so I'm going to actually search for the one I'm looking for today. So here's the business profile I'm trying to manage. Yours will be displayed similarly. And you can see there's a get verified button right there. So you can either click that button or if I even go to the profile, sometimes you can find the profile just by searching your business name in Google. You might see it like this. So we can see the red triangle right there. We have a warning customers can't see your business information. Get verified to let them find you on Google. So uh, again, there's a get verified button right there. We're going to click that and it's going to send us to the video verification process. Um, when you're actually ready to go through with this, you want to be standing outside your business because you're going to start recording here soon. So it's asking me here that it's found a similar business in the area and it's asking, is this your business? Um, no, this does not match. That's not relevant to us. And we're just going to continue on and ignore that question. All right. So it's saying select a way to get verified. We only have the business video option and we're going to just click on next. And it's going to now give us some pointers on what they're looking for and how we're going to record this video. So they're looking for three main requirements. Your location should match your business profile address which means the profile address we've entered in your Google business profile online should match the physical address you're able to show in the recording. You can do this by filming the street signage out front, like the street address, or say you're a service area business and this is your home actually. Well, you can also record the street number on the home itself and you can do like your mailbox. And also when you walk inside of the business, any kind of official business documents with the address on them would also help verify the business location. So video whatever you can to help verify the location. And then the second requirement here is your business name and category should match your business profile. So they wanna see your business name somewhere matching what we've named the profile. And they're also making sure that you are the category you say you are. So if you're a plumber or a roofer, they want you to film you know, that equipment, supplies, work trucks, or the inside of your business. If say you're like a coffee shop, film the inside of the business, show you're clearly making coffee here. Um, whatever the business is, it should be the appropriate category and easy to prove. And the third requirement here is that you're authorized to represent this business, which means they want you to show you have access to the business, whether that be the equipment, you can unlock the vehicles, show you have access to work trucks um, or unlock the front door is really important, showing them that you can access the building and even going into like a back room or an office or something that a customer wouldn't normally go to. They list here operating payment tools. So yeah, things like that. Just prove your location is where it says it is, that it fits the business category and that you have authorization there. What this looks like is going to vary kind of business to business. So just do what makes sense and we just have to hope for the best. So once you understand that, you can click next and get ready to start recording here. So they're letting you know, uh, make sure you capture all three requirements in one continuous recording. Best videos are between one to two minutes. Anything longer than five minutes is too long and won't get accepted, so keep that in mind. And they want you to start outside. Capture your business surroundings first before moving inside. And they actually say to avoid capturing faces or sensitive documents, so you don't have to go too overboard with this. All right, so we'll click on start recording and they're about to let me start recording on this phone. Click on next and I'll allow it. And here, I mean, I'm just in a home office, so I can't really help you give you an example recording, but they have this little document button on the right here. You can click at the bottom right, which you open up and just lets you know the three requirements once again, in case you forget. Um, but once you're ready to record all this, you're just gonna hit the record button. That's it. Record the three requirements, record the inside, the outside of the business, record yourself accessing the different things and show the address where possible. And that's about it. That's, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully this is clear enough and you're able to get verified. Best of luck and thank you for watching.